Hi there, I'm Susan Poole, the Bed and Breakfast Coach, and today we're talking about how to pick a name for your bed and breakfast. Getting the name right is one of the most crucial elements of your business success. Prior to opening your bed and breakfast, you should have already created a business plan to, assure that you, to ensure that you can afford to own and run it. Once that's complete and it's in place, then you can begin the process of creating your name. Since your business plan identifies who your customer is, what you're offering them, and distinguishes what is going to make you stand out from the other bed and breakfasts in the area, this information will be useful to start a brainstorming exercise to create a list of potential bed and breakfast names. Once you've got a substantial list, consider the following. A good name tells people what you do and what they can expect. If your bed and breakfast has a special history, consider incorporating that into the name. A good name makes you stand out from the competition. Search on Google for commonly used names or to trigger some ideas. A good name is easy to remember, pronounce, and spell so people can find you easily. People prefer words that they can relate to and understand. Think alphabetically. Many directories are alphabetical with numeric, num, numerals coming first. If people find what they're looking for, they will stop looking, so it helps to be near the top of the list. Make sure that the name and the web address, or the URL, is available. Think about alternative meanings of the word, or how the words translate into other languages, especially if you're targeting an international audience. You can use Google Translator for that. It's great to have a name with a special meaning or significance. It sets up an opportunity that will be used to tell your story about your bed and breakfast and make it more memorable. It's transferable if you want to make, sell it at a later date. And once you've narrowed down your list to a few names, get input from family and friends that can be objective and won't be hurt if you don't end up going with their choice. If you're still stuck, consider hiring a professional marketer. Just like using an accountant to do your taxes, they will help you avoid trouble using trademark or already registered names. And consider the impact of your choice on design elements such as logo, signage, stationery, etc. Some things not to do when choosing your bed and breakfast name. Be too funny. People may not share your sense of humor or feel that you do not take the business too seriously. Use abbreviations, quite often that only makes sense to you. Do not choose a name that is protected under trademark or registered to another owner. Use unacceptable terms that imply connections that don't exist. So for instance, in Perry Sound, the largest tourist attraction was called the Island Queen Boat Cruise. I couldn't name my property the Island Queen Bed and Breakfast. You can't do uh, misleading descriptions of your business, for instance, calling it a hotel versus a bed and breakfast, nor infringe on the rights of other people who've already claimed the name, or refuse to change your name if it's not working. I named my bed and breakfast 40 Bay Street because I once set out to find a bed and breakfast and realized I didn't have the address. So I made the decision then and there that I would call my bed and breakfast by the name of its address, making it easy for people to remember where they're heading or to ask directions to. If you're looking for more information on owning a bed and breakfast, sign up for our newsletter to receive messages in your inbox. And to begin your journey of discovery to see if owning a bed and breakfast is right for you, download three questions everyone who wants to own a bed and breakfast asks or should at www.belikebedandbelikebreakfastcoach.com. And finally, check out more online video training at Susan Poole, the Bed and Breakfast Coach, on my YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot and have a great day.